Um, it's it's also interesting you talked about self taught. Um, mm. It's something that you learned yourself. So it's also something that I've been also been doing um, over this period of time. Mm. And something very interesting, you're saying that you are green when you're starting. Yeah. And at this level where you are right now, you know, you have amazing, amazing amount of knowledge in terms of what to do, uh, what to grow. You have an understanding of how nature works. Mm -hmm. um, some Something that I don't see with um, my conventional friends in terms of farming. Yeah. So for you... How, how did it come now you settled on organic specifically? Is it something you thought or is it something that came to your mind uh, once? Mm. Or is it something that was there for quite a long time? How, how, did, how did it exactly come and then you decided to venture into organic farming? Okay, one uh, was the safety for my health yeah. and the health of my family. So I thought I wanted um, to know what they are eating because mm. my children were very young. Yeah. So that's when they are eating their fast food. Mm. So I thought, you know, I really need to know what they're eating and it has to be safe. Yeah. So that was my first conviction mm. that I want to feed my family the very best. And then beyond that mm. was that when I was selling the vegetables, yeah. you know, my conviction, even from my faith, is that, you know, you need to, um, or rather I thought that, you know, I need to be able to give people the very best and the safest food mm -hmm. so people know uh, the source of their food and that's how we've actually got clients mm -hmm. and through the ups and downs you'll find even sometimes we don't have enough vegetables but whenever we have them our clients mm -hmm. will always buy from us because there's a trusted source yeah. of where they're getting their food from another reason why i did organic or rather mm -hmm. said that i want to do organic was because of future generations yes. I want my children mm. to be able to still come on farm on this land. Yeah. What you find in Kenya now, it's very common mm. that people are only leasing land for a period of five to seven years yeah. because beyond that, the produce will dwindle yeah. because of the chemicals that have been put in over the years makes the soil too acidic, mm. so the plants are not able to uptake the nutrients. So they have to keep moving from farm to farm. And they would always say, oh, no, this farm is not good. You know, everyone wants to lease on virgin land. Yeah. And we don't have the patience to actually grow the soil. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for me, it's been very challenging. But I'm growing the soil for me because mm. I'm still young. <laughs> I'll be able to enjoy <laughs> the produce of the land yeah. for a number of years, God willing. Yeah. But also my children will always be will even find the soil in a much better state than it is today yeah. and grandchildren mm. so even as i come to the farm i come with my children they know how to grow organic food and they keep asking even when we go out there yeah. they're like mom is this good for us or not so they're already aware yeah and hopefully as they grow and they are taking over the work they'll be able to even teach the next generation mm. so i think for me um when you do organic agriculture it's actually the only sustainable way of farming yeah for and also when you think about the african continent mm. when you talk about food security yeah why is it we don't have enough food yeah. why is it our soils are not producing anymore mm. imagine if we have you know millions of farmers yeah. just saying we're going back to build our soils we will always be food secure mm. yeah feeding the people poison even your organs may hear them myself What's happened to my people?